for watching Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please let subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today we'll be reading The Substitute Teacher from the Black Lagoon by Mike Fowler and pictures by Jared Lee. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Mrs. Green is sick today. Yay! I didn't know teachers got sick too, and we're going to have a sub. Whoopee! This should be fun. We'll have recess all day except for one hour, which will be for the party, and we won't have any homework except playing video games and watching TV. We can all chew gum, tell jokes, throw spitballs, and dance on our desk. This is fun. Yeah! Help! I'm dizzy. Catch me! Slow down! Oink! Let's order a pizza. Your eyes are getting heavy. We've got the lesson plan hidden in the blackboard erased and all the books are buried. In an emergency, we have laughing gas and a book on hypnotism. Before noon, we'll have our substitute stuffed and mounted on the bulletin board. Looks good. Call 911. Cool. I hear footsteps coming down the hall. We all look toward the door. Suddenly, there's a crash. The door doesn't open. He comes through the wall. That's not a good sign. He's nine feet tall and his arms are full of books. As the dust settles, he writes his name on the chalkboard. Frankenstein, the late bell rings. We all jump up. It's time for recess, we shout. He turn around and growls. We all sit down. Grrr. Mr. Stein opens a math book. We never have math on Wednesday, shouts Derek. Let's try a little subtraction, grunts Mr. Stein, picking him up. I guess that's a joke. Subtraction. If there are 15 students and one disappears, how many are left? Derek counts on his fingers. Fourteen, he stutters. Good, says Mr. Stein, letting him down. It's lunchtime, shouts Randy, setting the clock hands to noon. Mr. Stein comes over, lifts him up, and asks, How would you like to go to the moon? Not before noon, says Randy. Oh, I thought you said launch time, said Mr. Stein, grinning. I like a teacher with a sense of humor. Blast off. Well, says Mr. Stein, let's try some geography. What state are we in now? A state of anxiety, stutters Randy. Mr. Stein smiles. In what state can you wear, he asks. Dakota, says Eric. What about Pennsylvania, asks Mr. Stein with a smile. Say, why don't we make a state rental book? What state has the most pigs, asks Penny. Pennsylvania, shouts out Eric. What about Boregon, answers Mr. Stein laughing. I raise my hand. What state did Noah live in, I ask? I give up, says Mr. Stein. Ark and Saul, and I smile. Well, we will make up a great state riddle book, illustrate it, and make a cardboard cover. We even missed recess to finish it, because Mr. Stein isn't coming back tomorrow. What is the happiest state? Maryland. What state does the most laundry? Washington. What state likes court games? Tennessee. What state has the most cows? California and Missouri. What state serves the worst breakfast? Michigan. What state is this very small dessert? Minnesota. Knock, knock, who's there? Delaware, Delaware who? Delaware peak underwear. Knock, knock, who's there? Tennessee, Tennessee who? Tennessee you tonight. Knock, knock, who's there? Alaska, Alaska who? Alaska, you one more riddle. Knock, knock, who's there? Utah, Utah who? You tell me everything I know about riddle making. Thank you, Mr. Stein. I'll miss him, but we dedicated the book to him and proudly put it in the school library. And every time I read it, I think of him. Thank you for being the substitute teacher from the Black Lagoon today with us on Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit the thumbs up so our viewers can join our adventures. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon.